Supporters of West Papuan independence say at least seven people have been killed and several injured in another outbreak of violence in the Indonesian province. They say Indonesian security forces opened fire on a high school demonstration in the town of Wamana. Violence has also erupted in the Papuan capital Jayapura, where four people including an Indonesian officer, were reportedly killed following an anti-racism, pro-independence rally. And some people may find images of the wounds distressing. Gunfire and chaos erupts on the streets of Wamena. High school students carried away, suffering bullet wounds. Witnesses say Indonesian security forces had opened fire to disperse a rally. SBS has been supplied these pictures from activists, but has been unable to confirm their authenticity. Military forces already shoot dead three people, and we have been confirmed from hospital in, in Wamena that three people dead, and 17 people injured in Wamena today. Um, internet connection in women are already being switched off by the authority until this afternoon. Earlier, hundreds of students had been marching for an independence referendum and against racism after accusing a teacher of a racial slur. <laughs> Soon after the shootings, the town of Waimena was ablaze. Protesters setting fire to several government buildings. Further bloodshed also in the Papuan capital, Jayapura, following a demonstration of Papuan University students. Sources have told SBS that 26-year-old Otinus Lockberry was shot in the arm and chest. He died shortly after. It's claimed the students had been attacked by Indonesian civil militia members. Indonesian soldiers appear to be involved, but also a new militia group called the Archipelag Society, or Nusantara uh, society that appears to be involved in the violence. So this would be the Indonesian military reorganising its proxy militia in order to be more effective in terms of repressing uh, West Papuan resistance and West Papuan protests. Mr Kingsbury says Indonesian forces have long worked in close company with civil militia groups in West Papua. The militias are organised by the Indonesian military essentially as a, an auxiliary force so the Indonesian military can uh, engage in violent activities but not be seen to be engaging. In a bid to curb the violence in Jayapura, Indonesian security forces moved people away from their protest area. Images soon emerged of officers standing over the students who had been forced to lay face down. Many of the students had reportedly returned to Papua from other parts of Indonesia because of safety fears. Amid the escalating violence, West Papuans have repeated their calls for an urgent UN visit to the region. It's a very critical time at this point where this visit needs to be done sooner than later. The civil resistance will not stop anytime soon and we're seeing the increasing military presence and this, the police presence on the ground. It demonstrates that um, this visit is more important than ever. The Indonesian president has reportedly gathered a number of his ministers to discuss the latest political and security issues in a closed meeting at the presidential palace this afternoon. Virginia Langeberg, SBS World News.